Well, speaking of nature, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's sick of being stuck indoors during the global pandemic. One of the things I miss most is going hiking and generally being in nature. Well, if you are in the same boat as me, there is a way for you to now experience the outdoors virtually. Dr. Moti Charter is a senior lecturer, wildlife ecologist at the Shamir Research Institute at the University of Haifa. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Uh, thank you very much. So you have uh, developed a unique project. You've placed live cameras uh, in popular nature spots. Tell me exactly how does that work and how did you come up with the idea? So the idea was very, it's very simple. I'm a, I research animals and birds. So we get to see beautiful, amazing things that not everybody gets to see. And the idea is, is to bring the nature to the people. Obviously now with the coronavirus, it's super relevant and people, you know, are not, are not able to go outside. But even in days that aren't the coronavirus, we want people to see the nature but not disturb it. So what we did was we created a channel on YouTube. You can uh, go online at Charter Group Israel. You, uh, you type in a search and you reach a YouTube channel. And you can see all different beautiful, amazing things. For example, like this vulture nest of the Israel Nature Parks Authority. You can watch vultures breed breeding live. Or, or 30 vultures leaving, landing on a carcass, things that you're probably used to seeing in National Geographic. But in Israel, we have a, amazing nature here. Uh, also, right now, we have, um, or these wild boars, we have um, uh, a migration here. So about 30 to 45,000 uh, great white pelicans migrate through Israel. It's a bird that's wingspan about um, almost up to, these. Are, there you go right there, 11 feet about the height of a person. Each one eats between one to three pounds of fish a day. And people wow. are be able to watch the migration live even during this period of coronavirus. This here is in, in the Hula um, Nature Reserve of the Israel Nature right. Parks Authority. So we're able to see all these amazing things going on. It helps us with our research. It helps us with our research and our um, in our monitoring on the one hand, but on the other hand, we're able to bring people to the nature, even during these very difficult times. Right, and it's really amazing footage. I have to admit, you know, I spent a long time just watching these live feeds when I was doing research for the story. And I wonder, how does this work logistically? How much money went into this and who's funding it exactly? So believe it or not, I have a uh, private donor and it's 100% uh, all the equipment comes from the private donor. Other than that, my research group, we're actually working for free, kind of volunteering. I don't have really funds to do most of the work. Um, but it, it's logistically, it's a huge, huge project. But because we really want to bring the nature to the people, we feel that it's worth the time and the effort, in particular with these very difficult times with the coronavirus. So we set up the cameras. Everything's done with the Israel Nature and Parks Authority that we make sure not to disturb the nature, obviously. We put the camera up, then everything's done remotely. We don't actually have to return to these sites. For example, with these wild boar and the Hula Nature Reserve, this is an area where people do not go. You can't go there. It's 100% uh, cut off from humans. Um, but now people can actually be able to see in their homes or on their phones uh, all this wildlife, which is just truly amazing thing. We're very proud of this. And we're going to continue. Now is uh, the winter time, so we'll see many migrating birds. But in the springtime, we'll add in many nests of birds, uh, uh, kestrels, barn owls, uh, many other birds. So this, the idea is just bringing people, connecting people to nature and seeing things that us as researchers we see all the time, but other people do not. So you said that the cameras were actually set up before the COVID-19 pandemic, correct? We, we started the channel in February. Since then, we've added about cameras in 20 different locations, and we keep on moving them according to the, the season. So, for example, if there was in a nest of a barn owl, the, the breeding season ended, so we moved it to another location. Uh, and we're going to continue to add more and more cameras as we go along. Um, and because it's, it's become a huge hit, currently we have about 50,000 people that are watching this uh, over the last month. And it's not only in Israel, it's throughout the world. Wow. In countries, obviously, U.S. and Europe, the U.K., uh, even in Japan, uh, in Africa. Wow. So it's uh, turned into a global thing that people can enjoy and see a different side of Israel. Unfortunately, as you know, in Israel, we get a little bit bad press. Not from you guys, obviously. Um, but here it's a case where people can see the beautiful wildlife of Israel and it's all positive and we're very happy about that. And I'm curious, did you have as large a following before we were so far into this lockdown? Has it grown as a result of Corona, of people wanting to be reconnected to nature? So without a doubt, people have a lot more times on in their hands now. So and people continuously thank us. 
that they're able to sit in their living rooms or on their computers and be able to see the wildlife. So the numbers have jumped drastically. Um, you know, and so, and dump, some days we have 3,000 people. Uh, it's quite amazing, you know, uh, wow. and just varies and dur during different hours of the day. But without a doubt, the, the number of viewers have increased drastically. So I bet you yourself have spent a lot of hours watching this footage. What's sort of the most interesting, cool thing that you got to capture during this live stream? So uh, about an hour ago in the, in the Hula Nature Reserve, there was a uh, white-tailed eagle, which is a critically endangered bird. Uh, I think there's only one breeding pair in Israel, and that happened to be one of the adults. Uh, and I got to see him fly and chase after some pelicans and birds, which is something unbelievable even for me to see. Amazing stuff. Dr. Charter, thank you so much for being with us today. Pleasure all is mine.